My spirit always rises with every attempt to depress it, and I was told not to post snippets. So a circumflex heroes I a circumflex heroes am posting from a novel as yet unsold and unfinished. Because I a circumflex heroes am that cruel. All places hell ser a hoit dead men don a circumflex heroes t wake up. The thought blazed through the darkness in my mind like one of those comets that astrologers say foretell death, famine and plague. I tried to turn on a bed that fell hard beneath me. But the sheets had tangled on my arms and legs and pinned my hands where they were a circumflex heroes crossed at my chest. I hit something as I turned a circumflex heroes as if the wall and ceiling had caved in on me. The air tasted stale and fishy, as if my room had been permeated with the stench of fish guts. And through my mind the thought blazed again. Dead men don a circumflex heroes t wake up. At the back of it there were other a circumflex heroes not thoughts. You call a circumflex heroes t call them thoughts. They were shards of self-knowledge, bright and incomplete, like fragments of a shattered mirror. My name was Kit Marlowe. I was 29 years old. And I was dead. I bridled at the last, startled with the certainty of it. I call a circumflex heroes t be dead. But I was. I remembered the tavern. And Poli, Skiers and Freiser. I remembered the dagger. My own tenpence dagger, almost new. And I remembered it piercing my left eye. And my brain. I remembered searing pain, rushing despair. And then nothing. Until I woke up. Which must mean I had nay circumflex heroes t died. It would take a miracle. I did nay circumflex heroes t believe in miracles. And yet a circumflex heroes I opened my eyes. Nothing but darkness from either of them, though the left one hurt with pounding blazing pain. Which argued for my being alive. Dead men don a circumflex heroes t hurt. Arching my body, I strained against the fabric that wrapped me, and tried to call out to whoever had left me alone on this hard bed, in the dark. But I called a circumflex heroes t speak. My jaw had been tied. Like the jaw of dead men is tied, to prevent it flopping. I was buried. I a circumflex heroes t been set in a grave. My jaw had been tied and my body wrapped in a shroud. The wall and ceiling I could feel much too near to me, were those of the coffin. They a circumflex heroes d buried me alive. Something like mad and panic set in. This had always been one of my nightmares. I remembered when I was a child in Canterbury, hearing stories about people buried alive and found a circumflex heroes when something necessitated opening the coffin a circumflex heroes with scratches of despair on their arms and body, as they struggled to free themselves from their premature grave and died of fear or suffocation. I twisted and writhed within the shroud. I did nay circumflex heroes t want to die. Men enough had died near me a circumflex heroes, i.e. circumflex heroes d killed enough of them, myself, by stealth and in private brawl a circumflex heroes, that I could tell you no soul escaped the body as it died. There was no rush of light, no benevolent god to receive the suffering. Just a final stilling of the engine of life and then nothing. Carrion. And yet, what if something existed? It was impossible, but what if it did? I.e. circumflex heroes d killed, I.e. circumflex heroes d betrayed, I.e. circumflex heroes d mocked, and I.e. circumflex heroes d defiled. Through my fault, my very great fault. I beat my body hard against the boards, and could feel them give and shake under my violence. I believed in neither heaven nor hell. But I feared hell. I twisted my hands and felt the strips of cloth around them loosen. It had only been tied to keep my hands in place, not to keep me still. I twisted and twisted against pain in my wrists, until the rag felt amp with my own blood. Until it tore. Then I grabbed the fabric that covered my body, and pulled it apart. It tore with a sound like a thunderclap. Freed from this, I pulled off the strap that bound my jaws, and I screamed and screamed while I pounded with my fists on the wood above me. I screamed and pounded till my hands hurt. Till there was nothing left of my voice, but a scratchy whisk that caught in my throat and subdued into a sob. No one came. I lay in my coffin, hearing my heart beat at a deafening volume. My mouth and throat hurt from screaming. Tears ran down my face, soaking my beard and dripping from my chin together and the hollow of my throat to where neck met chest. My body was covered in sweat. And I was naked. I remembered being dressed in my good suit, the dark wine red velvet one with the slash through sleeves that showed the flame-colored silt they call Harlot A Circumflex Euros S leg. They A Circumflex Euros D taken my suit. Someone had undressed me. Doubtless, someone had examined me. How could they have failed to realize I was alive? I felt my lips curl in a sneer. Incompetent fools. And now, doubtless, my three companions had gone to flog my suit to some used clothes dealer who was nay circumflex heroes t too picky about stains and gore, and left me here. Alone. 
Eichel ne circumflex heroes t get out of the coffin by pounding and screaming, if there was no one out there to hear me. Or if anyone who might be out there was a superstitious fool who chose to believe I was a ghost. That way would come no help. And all I was doing, pounding on that coffin, was using up my air and my strength. I took a deep breath of the staler air in the coffin, and put my hands up, feeling the lid. The wood was grainy, full of gaps and squishy beneath my fingers. Old boards taken from rotted boats. A pauper a circumflex euros s grave. I a circumflex euros deep and buried in a pauper a circumflex euros s grave. I, who had once consorted with nobility and whose poems had been the toast of London. My own laughter rang deranged in my ears. Before I could stop it, it turned into a sob that tore out of my throat, shocking me. Oh, Tom must be happy. The A circumflex heroes D finally got rid of me. And put me back in my own place A circumflex heroes in the gutter. Below even my cobbler father A circumflex heroes S plebeian sphere. Tentatively, I scratched at the coffin lid with my nails. It came off in tatters. I dug into it and pulled off the long strips of soft wood. Some splinter pushed into my flesh, but I called nay circumflex euros t allow myself to be distracted. I bit my lower lip and dug and dug and dug. A shower of dirt on my face rewarded me, and I had a moment of panic. How far down was I buried? And what if I was buried face down, to prevent my spirit from rising as they said the spirits of the evil dead did? But cheap graves were never dug that deeply. No one to give the grave diggers their tip afterwards. And no one here knew me well enough to think I must be cursed. Besides dirt had fallen on me. And dirt fell downwards. I stuck my arm through the opening on the lid, and my hand pushed up through cold damp loose dirt, to what felt like fresh air, freedom, and a steady drizzle. My mother a circumflex euros s side of the family, minor gentry and ministers, had formed my features a circumflex euros my oval face, my pulpy, soft mouth, my two large grey eyes, that still managed to look all too innocent even at 29 a circumflex euros, but beneath the spare limber frame that also resembled them, I was a marlow. From my father a circumflex euros s side of the family a circumflex euros burly laborers and leather workers, tanners and peasants all a circumflex euros i a circumflex euros d inherited the muscles of a workhorse, the strength of a bull. Both limberness and strength had seen me unscathed through a hundred street brawls. They served me well now. I braced my legs against the bottom of the coffin, and used all my might to push my upper body up. For a moment, it felt like drowning. My head pushed up through the boards and up through loose dirt. I smelled death and carrion in what was, doubtlessly, a much-used grave. A scream catching in my throat, my flesh crawling at the stench, I pushed. It felt like forever, but it must have been no more than the space between breath and breath, thought and thought, and my head pushed out of the dirt, followed by my shoulders and my arms. I clawed for the firmer dirt of the path and held onto it for dearer life, as I pulled the rest of my body from the grave, in an obscene parody of birth. A voice was muttering, pleading, begging a circumflex euros for mercy, for air, for life, and there was a low whining sound, like a child crying alone in the dark. I looked around frantically, but saw no one. And then I realized I was crying, moaning, and tears were falling down my face. I fell on my knees on the path between graves. My lungs filled with the bracken, too warm air of Deptford, in which mingled the smells of the port and the smells of the fishing industry. The clangs and hollow wooden knocks of vessels at anchor, shaken by the tide, echoed in my ears. I call nay circumflex euros to remember where the cemetery was, but it must not be too far from the port. And for wonder, I a circumflex euros deep and buried close to the church a circumflex euros, a mean provincial church, that looked as though it had been standing there since the Norman invasion. It was squat, square and made of stone, without even the saving grace of a tower. Its shadow fell on me, dark like a crow a circumflex euros s wing a circumflex euros, and the cross at the top seemed to reproach me for escaping my grave. A steady drizzle fell a circumflex euros enough water to turn the dirt on my naked body to mud, not enough to wash me clean. And my body hurt, cramped, as if I a circumflex euros deep and sleeping too long in an uncomfortable position. I looked down, dispassionately, at my white skin marred by cuts and scrapes and stained with grave dirt. My left eye, as much as I could feel of it, was a pulpy mass. But they had at least removed the knife. Doubtless a circumflex euros I grinned bitterly in the dark a circumflex euros to sell. Where could I go when I was presumed dead? I could go to Mistress Belay circumflex euros s and reproach them with their mistake. But chances were they a circumflex euros d mistake me for a ghost or some other unholy creature. And where else could I go? I didn't a circumflex euros t know anyone else in Deptford a circumflex euros a meeting place i a circumflex euros d chosen for just that reason.
and I could never get to London barefoot and naked. I felt as if I were hurled with a great force. It was as if giant hands had taken hold of me and flung me aloft. Only, nothing had. I could still feel my body where it had been, standing in the dark shadow of the church at Deptford. I could feel the pain in my eye, the sting of my abraded skin and the rain falling softly on my dirt-covered body. But I could feel other things just as vividly. Number I was standing on a London street. It felt as if I a circumflex you rose deep in walking along and just stopped, suddenly, as a new thought occurred to me. The street was familiar a circumflex you rose one of the narrow, crawling streets in the theatre district, near the rose. Fields that had been put to crop just a couple of years before, were now covered in hastily built houses, climbing crookedly to five stories, and looking like they might fall at any minute. Taverns and body houses flourished to every other door, their noise raucous in the warm spring air. I fill my lungs with the smell of ale and roast mutton, of simmering broth and camphor spice bacon, and I smile at my own folly. The coffin and Deptford must all be a dream. I a circumflex euros d drunk too much and slept too little. I a circumflex euros d a circumflex euros. If you like this content and want to support this channel, the blog, and Sarah's continued writing, please like and subscribe. If you really enjoy the content, please come and join the fun at accordingtohit.com.